Hi everyone, Miss Lauren here, Children's Librarian at the Half Hollow Hills Community Library, here for a terrific program. This is perfect for the summer and outdoors, and it is called Painting with Ice Cubes. So this is a pretty simple craft that you could do, a craft or activity. Um, all you need are some regular ice cube trays, nothing fancy, just standard ice cube trays. You're going to need some popsicle sticks. I like the really big ones. They seem to be easier for little ones to use, so I like the big popsicle sticks, but whatever you have around the house is just fine. And you're going to need some liquid food coloring. So I have an assortment of colors here. And those are all the supplies you're going to need for this. Once you do the ice cube painting, you may want to use paper. Um, or you may want to just go outside and use the sidewalk. Just a bit of caution. Uh, the food coloring uh, may dye your clothes and may dye your sidewalk. So you don't want to wear your finest clothes or put any uh, food coloring on any new pavement outside. So maybe a driveway or something like that might be the safest bet. And make sure you wear your play clothes that you don't mind if it gets stained. Your hands may get a little stained too, but that won't last for long. It'll come out with soap and water in the bath or after a bunch of hand washes. All right, so to get started, we're gonna fill our ice cube tray. So once you fill your ice cube trays as high as you can with water, um, you're gonna want to choose some colors to use here. And I have a set of just blue, yellow, green, and red, but you can use any colors you like. And you're gonna use about five drops or so in each little compartment. So let's try blue, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And you can vary the colors. The nice thing is you can sort of blend them together. So if you wanted to make a nice purple, you would use obviously red and blue. And this is a great conversation to have with your child about primary colors, secondary colors, and um, creating new colors and, and mixing and matching, um, which is a lot of fun. So once you pour in your food coloring, you're gonna put in your uh, tongue depressor here, and you're just gonna angle it so it looks like that. So once it freezes, it freezes pretty well into the ice, so it gives the child a nice handle to paint with. And again, you're, you can fill up the whole tray. If you have a bunch of kids, if you have a party, you can use more than one tray um, and just have fun with it and create lots of new colors. Um, so to demonstrate our really cool ice cube craft, we're gonna go outside and I have some special guests who are gonna help me demonstrate. So let's go outside. Okay, so here we are painting with our ice cubes and I have two very special guests with me. What's your name? What's your name? James. And how old are you, James? Yeah. And do you like this? Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah? What color is that? Red. Wow. Um, these things are green. Green? Wow. Is it cold? Are those ice cubes cold? Yeah. They are. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like Ella's having fun. Ella's one and a half years old, so this is a great project for anybody of any age. <laughs> All right. And here we just have two <laughs> big plain white pieces of paper, but you can use anything to paint on. And we're having a lot of fun, so I hope you have a lot of fun too.